Okay, and now finally we're also going to work with events in rules, so we can uh, create our own events that trigger reaction rules. And uh, what I would like you to do is to add an event that reacts when uh, you save this list of words. So you can do something like this, let's see, workflow, rules, reaction rules, and let's add a new one. Temporary. And here, there is a new event now. List of words is being saved. Uh, we can react on that, and this event should provide two, uh, um, two variables. One is the new list <coughs> being updated, that has been updated. And one is the old list as it looked before being updated. And so let's see what we can do here. Debug value inside this reaction rule. And we have here the list unchanged and the list updated. So let's uh, debug the, well, have a look at the unchanged list before saving. And let's also have a look at the updated one, just to, to see uh, what this uh, reaction rule looks like and this event looks like. Now we have alpha, beta, gamma, delta. If I save, we trigger a rule that uh, displays the values of the list as it was before saving and as it is now after saving. So if I remove three of these and just keep alpha, uh, okay, so I had it the other way around, sorry. Um, as it was before saving, still uh, four values, and now we have one value. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, to make this happen, you will need to, well, you should check out workflow rules component uh, develop info look at these events and the interesting thing here is that you have something well this is very similar to actions and conditions but instead of provides or uh, uh, parameters you have here variables instead that describe the um, uh, the data that is being provided by this uh, event. You also need to um, invoke this event somewhere in the in the code uh, to make it actually trigger the rule. And you'll see that in the two uh, suggested solutions, two videos for the suggested solution. And uh, yeah, that's it. Good luck. Have fun.